Start things off this hour from a news perspective with Jacqueline. She has a developing story coming out of Prince George's County. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, guys. So developing this morning, some new body cam footage revealing the moment that an officer shot and injured a man last week. Fox 5's Maureen Ume joining us live from Metropolitan Police Headquarters with the latest details. Maureen? That's right. This is a D.C. investigation. Police releasing that body cam footage. And in it, uh, you see the officers telling the man uh, to stop, the, to show them his hands. Uh, and also they're telling him to stop. They're going to shoot him. The video is chaotic. It is very graphic. Take a look. Let me see your hands. 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 I'm going to shoot you. Let me see your hands! He's on the video continues with the suspect running around the corner of a building. You can see him raise his right arm above his head, and the officer fires several more shots. That suspect falls to the ground and is taken into custody, and officers on the scene request an ambulance. The man who was shot and injured by police has been identified as 31-year-old Dion Hennett. The shooting happened last Monday on the 2100 block of Bladensburg Road in Northeast. Now, police say their officers with their violent crime suppression unit in an unmarked car saw a man later identified as Hennett arguing with the person. They say Hennett had a gun, and when they tried to stop him, he ran off and at one point turned towards officers, prompting them to open fire. And Hennett was taken to a hospital with serious injuries, and police say they did recover a firearm at the scene. That firearm was loaded with one round in the chamber, police are telling us, and Hennett has been charged with multiple crimes. Authorities have also identified the police officer involved in the shooting. He is police investigator Brian Madeira. Right now, uh, they are continuing their investigation. They tell us that Madeira is on uh, administrative leave while this investigation continues. But as far as the suspect, again, the suspect was injured and hospitalized. Uh, there was not a fatal shooting, surprisingly, given the number of shots uh, fired there. But again, police continue to investigate exactly what happened. Back to you. All right, Maureen, with the latest. Thank you very much.